Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another series video for you guys and the series is the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I think this is a really helpful series because it gives you a chance to see what I think is a good product within categories and what is bad and what is ugly, which bad and ugly are pretty much the same thing, but I'm thinking in my mind ugly is a little bit worse because bad, sometimes you can make it pretty, but ugly is just straight up ugly. So, uh, with that being said, today I'm going to be talking about foundation. I am just kind of like really into trying out different foundations because I think that the foundation is basically um, a base for your face for just the rest of your makeup because if your foundation looks really bad, then I think that's just going to draw attention away from the rest of your makeup and people are just going to focus on how bad your foundation looks. Okay, starting off, I'm going to do the good because you guys probably want to see um, what I like more than what I don't like. I mean, they both can be helpful, but just in case you want to see what I like first. This, my number one that I've been using recently is the Revlon Colorstay. Uh, I'm sure you've heard so many people talk about this foundation just because it is a really good foundation. I've went back to this multiple times. I've used it multiple times throughout the past years, but I really needed a new foundation to match my neck because I'm getting super pale. I'm not tanning anymore. So, you know, your girl gotta get a little color, but for now, we're gonna stick with a lighter foundation, and I've just been using this one because I just think this is a really good foundation in general. I got the normal to dry skin because my skin has been very dry, which I've said multiple times in all my other videos. Um, it is just a mess, doesn't know what it wants to do. So this has really not been cakey. And it just gives such a nice finish. Not that it's natural because you're obviously, you can tell you're wearing makeup. Um, I don't I don't really like a super natural finish anyway. I kind of like it when you can tell I'm wearing makeup. But not in a bad way, not in a cakey way. Just in a way where my skin looks flawless. And that's what this does. It just makes my skin look really good. I just think my skin, it works well with my skin. Like throughout the years, I've always thought that this was just a really good foundation for my skin in particular. And I know tons of other beauty gurus say the same thing so I would definitely give this a try if you're looking for a really good foundation and you don't want to pay a ton of money because that's kind of how I was I was like I really don't want to go and buy a super expensive foundation right now because summer is in like another couple months and I'll be laying out and I'll be getting darker again so I don't really want to spend that money right now I'd rather just get a good one from the drugstore and so I picked this one up and I think it's about $12 $12.13 and I am in the color sand beige one so totally, totally recommend this if you're looking for a good, um, somewhat inexpensive foundation. And then next is a more higher end foundation. It is also a good, in the good category. And it is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. And I've also gone back to this multiple times throughout the years. It is just a good foundation if you don't really have a lot of acne. Because right now I'm, I haven't really had a ton of acne, kind of like a pimple here and there. So I've, I was using this one off and on until I bought that one. Now I've just been using that one straight. But I do really like this one too. I would recommend it. And especially if you're a beginner too and you're just kind of starting off with makeup and you want to get a, a good foundation in your skin isn't bad like you don't really have acne then I would totally recommend this because it's not too cakey and it's really easy to work with it looks very natural on the skin even though I said I don't like like natural this looks pretty natural it's a natural where you can still tell that you have foundation on but you kind of can at the same time if that even made sense I don't know but if you have this you probably know what I mean and then you just use it with a powder brush um, it doesn't really get cakey like I said, I really like it and I recommend it, especially in particular for beginners when you're beginning with makeup and you don't know a lot about it. Next is the bad. And I'm going to start off with this one and it is the Revlon Photo Ready. And it's funny because I love the Revlon color saying this is the same brand and this one did not work well for me at all. Okay, I'm going to tell you why this is bad for me. I wore this to my cousin's wedding like two years ago maybe even two and a half who knows but I remember because I have pictures and my face just looked like a ghost like it says that it's photo ready but it just really made my skin look like kind of like a big sparkle and you can see that there's like glitter throughout the foundation but it's not like that glitter in a good way like I know some people put like a MAC product like MAC um mineralized some stuff 
liquid within their foundation like they'll mix it and then they'll put it on their skin and it'll give them a nice glow you think that's what this is gonna do for you but in pictures honey you just look like uh casper it just really did not look good i was already pale at the time and it just made me look it just made me look even worse like bottom line i just if i'm taking pictures I tell, I'm, trust me i am not wearing this foundation because it does not do what it says and it is not make me ready for photos so uh, it's lying then next is the clinique this is also a bad and it is the clinique stay matte oil free makeup and i will also tell you why this is bad for me because i remember i wore this on thanksgiving i remember it's so funny because i remember like i won't remember what i wore but like i remember what my makeup was isn't that funny anyways i'm getting off topic yeah this um did not work for me because i was breaking out a little bit during thanksgiving so i was like okay well i'm just gonna try this out because i had it for a while and i've used it um on different occasions and i was like okay it's, it, i don't remember it being that bad so i put it on and it first of all it did not cover my pimples at all like it's the lady told me that it was full coverage i was looking for a full coverage foundation when i bought this and she lied it is not full coverage at all at least not for me i have other foundations that are way more full coverage than this you have to play like a play you have to apply like three layers for it to even cover something and then by that time it looks like you're wearing cake like literally it looks like you rub your face in some cake and you know you're walking out the door with it which isn't cute so I really did not like this if anything it drew more attention to my acne it did not help with it at all so the lady was obviously just trying to, t to sell me stuff when she sold me this because it is not full coverage I don't even think it says that it's full coverage it just says oil controlling makeup absorbs shine wears beautifully all day lightweight yeah so it's lightweight so a lot of times I feel like the lightweight stuff isn't full coverage so I don't know why she told me that it was but she lied but the packaging is cute it's like real springy Ooh, Clinique yeah um I haven't always had the greatest um experience with Clinique like I said, I do not like that foundation. Would not recommend it. It is bad for me. So if you're going to buy what I say, I would not buy it. And then the ugly. Uh, wait for it. Some people love this foundation. Um, I've worn it on multiple occasions and uh, I tried it out again recently. And because sometimes you forget how something worked for you. Like it'll just be sitting there for so long. You're like, you know, I haven't really tried this in a while. So I tried it out again. And yeah, let me tell you, no. It is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup Exclusive Antioxidant Blend SPF 20. It's very runny. And when I put it on my skin, it just gets in all of the dry crevices and spots. And it just makes it look like I have like, I don't even know what to call it. I just have old, nasty, uncared for woman's skin. I don't know. I can't even explain it. But it just really sinks into all the dry spots but not in a good way like it doesn't moisturize them because I know some foundations will sink into your dry spots and make them not look as dry kind of like what I said the um Revlon color stay does for me but this foundation um did not does not do that at all and it also says that it helps clear up breakup helps clear up breakouts which I didn't really notice that it did um I take really good care of my skin anyway so I don't really think a foundation is going to do much help with my breakouts but so i think that's kind of like what catches people's attention like if you have acne and it's not very full coverage anyway so if you have breakouts i don't even know why you would like to wear this because as you can tell it's really liquidy and it kind of has a bad smell too it just looked really bad on my skin yeah it smells really bad kind of smells like paint don't you hate when foundations have like a real bad smell and it's like why do i want to put this on my face yeah, that's kind of how I feel about this one. I've heard people rave about this. Like, if you like this, please tell me what it does for you. Because me personally, it just doesn't work well with my dry skin. I am dry right now. Maybe I'll try it out again in the summer when I'm kind of oily and see how it works then. But as of right now, I am saying this is an ugly product. That is all of the uh, good, bad, and ugly products I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you found this useful for your foundation shopping or whatever you wanted to watch this video for. If you just like hearing me talk, uh, I'm happy with that too because I like talking to you guys. 
So, and please subscribe if you like this video or if you liked any of my other videos. I also have a good, bad, and ugly eyeliner video, and I'll probably make more within the future, like mascara, powder, etc. Um, I might also do hair products or skincare products. So, um, anyways, please subscribe and like and requests and all that good stuff. So, bye guys.